Imagine a world where AI-powered factories produce limitless clean hydrogen from seawater, fueling everything from hypersonic jets to robot-operated smart cities while cutting global emissions to zero. This isn't a futuristic dream. It's the $12 trillion hydrogen economy revolution, and it's arriving faster than you can blink. China and Saudi Arabia are already building gigantic AI-driven hydrogen mega factories with Saudi Arabia's Eniom project, set to produce 600 tons of green hydrogen daily enough to power entire countries. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Hydrogen could warm the planet 12 times faster than carbon dioxide if it leaks. The big oil nations are secretly pushing blue hydrogen scams to keep us hooked on fossil fuels. Meanwhile, AI is slashing green hydrogen costs by 90% with self-learning electrolyzers optimizing energy use in real time. Elon Musk says it's impossible, but NASA's leaked documents reveal nuclear-powered hydrogen drones are already in testing. Welcome to the looming hydrogen war where superpowers compete for supremacy and global dominance. Australia and Chile are building massive solar to hydrogen plants, whereas Germany pours 430 billion euros into green hydrogen infrastructure, while the USA races ahead with IRA tax credits targeting $1 to $2 per kilogram, clean hydrogen by 2028. Meanwhile, China is quietly dominating electrolyzer manufacturing by controlling 75% of electrolyzer tech, undercutting Western rivals with megascale production lines that echo its solar panel playbook. In Asia, Japan and South Korea are moving fast, where Japan launching hydrogen carrier ships to import green hydrogen by 2030. South Korea is building Ulsan, the world's first green hydrogen city, with pipelines, taxis, ships, and even forklifts fueled by local hydrogen. And the darkest secret which no one is talking about? Gold hydrogen, which is a naturally occurring hydrogen found underground, could make oil obsolete overnight. But Russia's invasion of Ukraine just killed its chance to lead this revolution. From the solar-wind hybrids of India to the advanced electrolyzers of Europe, this video dives deep into the technological breakthroughs, AI innovation, geopolitical tensions, and hidden dangers, shaping the next energy revolution, the hydrogen economy. Hold on tight, this is the electrifying road to a clean, carbon-free future. And let's see who will win the hydrogen war. Stick around, the answer will shock you. Get ready for the clean energy clash of the century where hydrogen empires are mobilizing and the country that wins this hydrogen war could rewrite global power in ways that will leave you speechless. Forget gas versus electric. The real battle is between hydrogen and batteries and who Evar wins the battle will control the future of planet's energy. Hydrogen, fuel cells pack, ultra-high energy density of 39 kilowatt-hour per kilogram compared to 0.25 kilowatt-hour per kilogram of lithium-ion batteries, enabling hypersonic jets and 1,000-mile truck ranges with five-minute refuels while batteries struggle with four-hour charges and range anxiety. This makes electric semis look like toys and powers non-stop long-haul shipping, aviation, and megacity infrastructure, while batteries shine in short commutes and microgrids with 90-95% to 95 efficiency. But the reality is, producing green hydrogen wastes 60% of its energy in electrolysis and compression, while batteries deliver 99% efficiency. With advancements in technology, the AI-powered nano-electrolyzers could slash costs to $1 per kilogram by 2030, making hydrogen cheaper than gasoline. Meanwhile, lithium mining is poisoning water supplies, 21 million liters per ton in Chile, while hydrogen's only byproduct is water vapor. But if the hydrogen leaks, it could warm the planet 12 times faster than carbon dioxide. Batteries dominate cars and phones now, but hydrogen rules range, refueling speed, and longevity. With lifespan 10 times longer, and it's the only solution for ships, planes, and grid storage. However, to get to this phase, we still need massive infrastructure, pipelines, refueling stations, and green electrolyzers to slash emissions from green hydrogen. Now let's take a look at how hydrogen could solve solar and wind's biggest problem. Here is the dirtiest secret. 
Solar and wind energy are useless when the sun doesn't shine and the wind does not blow. Whereas the AI-powered hydrogen batteries stores 1,000 times more energy than lithium, fueling the cities with zero carbon emissions for months, even during the blackouts while reducing costs to cents for kilowatt hour. Germany is already testing underground hydrogen caverns that could power one million homes for a year. And Australia's Green Hydrogen Tsunami Project uses excess solar to create 24 by 7 clean energy. USA is working on the project ACES in Utah, and it will soon be the world's largest hydrogen storage hub, replacing $59 billion worth of lithium batteries. The hyper-intelligent AI-driven electrolyzers will optimize production in real time, producing high-purity hydrogen to back up grids during cloudy, windless periods, fully stabilizing power systems from Europe to Australia. Companies like Lanza Jet are turning agricultural waste into sustainable aviation fuel using hydrogen, and Toyota is developing hydrogen fuel cells for cars that emit only water vapor. Unlike batteries that degrade after a few years, hydrogen can be stored seasonally, last for 50-plus years, and can be shipped globally in pipelines or as ammonia. When renewables spike, hydrogen acts as a supersized energy dump, and when they dip, it kicks in, like a clean, unstoppable backup, solving solar and wind's biggest problem. However, deep beneath your feet lies a free energy source, so powerful it could end the oil industry overnight. Scientists call it as gold hydrogen, nature's hidden clean energy source, forming naturally underground in places like Mali, France, Greenland, and even under Lake Superior. This hidden vault is a $12 trillion treasure of pure, zero-emission energy bubbling underground, formed by ancient radioactive reactions and iron-rich rocks splitting water into hydrogen. France's Lorraine Basin alone holds 250 million tons, enough to replace 50 nuclear plants. In Texas, biotech pioneers are converting old oil wells into hydrogen factories using microbes aiming for production at just 50 cents per kilogram, making it 10 times cheaper than green hydrogen and ready to repurpose existing oil infrastructure. Backed by Bill Gates-funded startups and major energy giants, a global gold hydrogen gold rush is booming in Australia's Kangaroo Island, Mali's burning wells, and France's Moselle Super Reserves, sparking an explosive hydrogen war over who controls this underground treasure worth $90 trillion? This isn't science fiction. It's a futuristic energy revolution right beneath our feet, rewriting the rules of renewables with free carbon-free fuel that could end energy poverty and topple the fossil fuel giants overnight. In the future, the advanced nuclear reactors will be powering cities by running AI-enhanced electrolyzers and high-temperature thermochemical plants producing clean hydrogen 24 by 7 at 90% efficiency with one pound of uranium replacing 500,000 gallons of gasoline. The secret nuclear-powered hydrogen drones can fly for years without refueling, while Bill Gates' TerraPower is building molten salt reactors that spit out hydrogen cheaper than bottled water. The Department of Energy's Nine Mile Point and Prairie Island plants are already piloting nuclear-powered hydrogen hubs that could each yield 150,000 tons of carbon-free hydrogen annually, powering fuel cell, long-haul trucks, and decarbonizing industrial steel and fertilizer sectors. This nuclear-powered hydrogen will soon become the game-changing backbone of tomorrow's clean energy landscape. Now let's reveal the monumental hydrogen case studies and witness how countries and companies are planting their flags in the next trillion-dollar clean energy frontier. China's Guangzhou Nansha project is running an AI-powered multiple-in-one microgrid with hydrogen fuel cells, slashing emissions by 40% while powering entire districts 24 by 7. Germany's hydrogenous LOHC tech is turning hospitals into zero-emission hubs by storing hydrogen in liquid organic carriers, cutting costs by 60%. Saudi Arabia's $8.4 billion Neom megafactory is producing 600 tons of green hydrogen daily, which is enough to fuel 20,000 hydrogen buses. 
Australia's Geelong opened the country's first green hydrogen refueling station, dispensing 300 kilograms every two hours to heavy-duty trucks. On the other hand, they have also uncovered gold hydrogen underground deposits that could replace all fossil fuels by 2030. Meanwhile, Norway's Star is rolling out gigawatt-scale electrolyzers with 90% thinner membranes dropping green hydrogen costs to one per kilogram per euro cheaper than gasoline. In Japan, the Fukushima Hydrogen Energy Research Field already produces 1,200 m 3 hour from solar power, while South Korea's Ulsan, green hydrogen town pumps, hydrogen through 188 kilometers of city pipelines, to fuel taxis, forklifts, trams, and homes. Meanwhile in Europe, the Brinto Hydrogen Island and Netherlands' massive North 2 project aim to produce gigawatts of clean hydrogen by 2030. And, from Mexico to the U.S., Texas salt cavern hubs are being paired with SpaceX rocket fuel projects. From Japan's hydrogen-powered bullet trains to Airbus's hydrogen planes are set for 2035 takeoff. The race is on and the winner will control a $12 trillion energy empire. These projects showcase hydrogen's ability to stabilize grids, decarbonize industries, and power transportation across ships, trucks, trains, and even rockets, all while slashing carbon dioxide. So here is the trillion-dollar question. By 2050, will hydrogen dominate our world, or will it crash and burn? From green hydrogen megaplants, producing one megaton year in Australia and Canada, to pink hydrogen reactors, co-located with nuclear plants in Europe, powering fuel cell trucks and zero-carbon shipping fleets with unmatched efficiency. We will be seeing hydrogen-powered skyports, refueling hypersonic jets in midair, hydrogen ships, silently circling polar routes, and H2 highways in Japan linking every city with refillable, eco-friendly transit, with underground pipelines silently powering entire megacities with zero emissions. Saudi Arabia's NEOM project could be pumping out 600 tons of green hydrogen daily, slashing costs to just $1 per kilogram, cheaper than your morning coffee. Meanwhile, big oil nations could ban hydrogen cars, fearing a $5 trillion industry wipeout, Yet SpaceX's Mars rockets will run entirely on hydrogen, proving Elon Musk wrong. By 2050, the hydrogen economy could hit $12 trillion, with 50 million metric tons of clean hydrogen produced yearly, supplying 15% of world energy, and generate over $750 billion a year in the U.S. alone, creating millions of jobs and slashing emissions by hundreds of millions of tons annually. But here's the twist. Will hydrogen complement renewables like wind and solar or dominate them? Can we overcome storage challenges and ensure green production? Smash that like button if you believe in the hydrogen revolution. Drop your valuable comment if hydrogen will save civilization or destroy it. And don't forget to subscribe because the energy war of the century is just getting started and you don't want to miss what comes next.